Hey parents, so part of our lesson today was on one-to-one -one correspondence. And what's that fancy math buzzword mean? Um, and how is that different than rote counting? Um, so rote counting is where kids just count. Kind of like the ABCs, where they go A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and they kind of sing the song. Same thing with rote counting. They just kind of go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and they count kind of fast from memory. Um, with one-to-one -one correspondence, the children are actually counting and um, touching the piece and moving it. Um, and this is an important uh, math concept for their development and they need to actually um, have you do it with them. So these are some things that I brought home from our classroom. We use these in the class with adding and subtracting and you can use whatever you have at home. The first way is to line up some objects and ask your child to touch each object and move it and count. One. Two, three, four, five. Another way is to take the objects and just drop them on the board and have them move them and arrange them into a line, touch them and count them. You can also put the items stacked and have them count them as they're getting better at it mixing them up in a pile and having them arrange them and count them. Also find some household items like this. I have a jar of erasers here and I just happen to have this little empty ice tray and they can sort them and count one, two, three, four, and so on. Just another fun way, whatever items, Legos, anything fun that you can find. is to take your child's, you know, a favorite snack and then have them either, you could have either roll a dice and have them put that number of items, goldfish, fruit snacks, uh, their cereal, and whatever they roll, they can identify the number on the dice and then put the number of snacks in that space. They can also trace the number first with their finger and then count the items, one, two, three, you know, et cetera. And um, th the most important thing is that they touch one item at a time and count it. One, two. So quick review, one-to-one -one correspondence. We are counting with the child. Make sure you have something that they can count. Make sure you are moving the object and saying the number out loud and count as high as you can go. Um, and then hopefully um, your child will keep progressing and being able to count higher and higher. Um, if you need more creative ways to count, please reach out to me and good luck. Thank you.